morning, Granada. I'm Taylor. And I'm Nick. And this is your Halloween Eloviso for Thursday, October 29th. Now here's an announcement from your leadership class. Touchdown Granada! Woo! Go team. Man, I really wish I had a funky beat to get down to right now. You know what, Lexi? That sounds like a great idea. Hey guys, I heard on October 30th there's going to be a DJ for the bullpen. And it's a pink out. Wow! wow. A DJ and a pink out at a Wait, football game? Back. Tell me more. Oh, I'll tell you, Katie. Come to the football game tomorrow and bring your pink spirit to support breast cancer awareness so we can also get groovy to that beat. And let's stay the whole time! Woo! Just do it! What? A DJ? That looks amazing. You all better be there. Donate personal care items and snacks to the military today through November 6th. Examples of items to donate are socks, Q-tips, deodorant, candy, and toothpaste. To find a donation list, visit bluestarmoms.org. Donation locations will be in each hall and in the quad. This week, I'll give you the results from the girls' golf league tournament last week, catch you up on how our football teams did against Monta Vista, and much more. I'm Nick Batters, and this is the Batter Up Sports Wrap. Our water polo teams concluded their seasons last week with games against Liberty and Livermore. While both the boys and girls lost to Livermore, our boys beat the Liberty Lions 10-3 as they winded down their schedule. Last week, our girls volleyball team went 1-1 as they topped Carondelet but lost to Monta Vista. Bella Fernandez led the girls to a 3-0 win over the Carondelet Cougars with 12 kills and 5 assists, and Maggie Kilde finished the match with 27 assists. Kilday currently leads the East Bay Athletic League and is second in the North Coast section with 581 assists. Fernandez leads not only the league, but the section with 271 kills. Today, the girls host Foothill High School, and on Tuesday next week, they hit the road to take on the Amador Valley Dons. And finally, in football action last Friday, our football teams played Monta Vista as our freshman boys won 28-22, our JV guys won 41-7, and our varsity team fought hard, but lost by a score of 42 to 32, a game that included several nice plays at the hands of Aaron Andrews and a 45-yard field goal from Alec Foster. Today, the freshman squad will play on the road against San Ramon Valley at 5.30, and tomorrow the JV and varsity teams will host the SRV Wolves, with JV kicking off at 4.30 and the varsity game beginning at 7. Remember everyone, we have girls volleyball at home tonight against Foothill, with matches starting at 4, 5, and 6, and Tuesday, our girls' tennis teams will play Livermore at 4. Don't forget that tomorrow is senior night for our varsity football team, as they will be playing their last home game of the 2015 season. The JV game begins at 4.30, and the varsity team will start their game at 7. With the season slowly winding down, our athletes need your support now more than ever. So get on out and show your Matador pride on our home turf. Thank you all for tuning in, and until next time, stay awesome. Thanks, Nick. You're welcome, Taylor. Today, a representative from UC Santa Cruz will be on campus during lunch to meet with students. If you are applying or thinking about applying to UC Santa Cruz, it is highly recommended that you attend. Hey, Granada. Today is the last day to sign up for Job Shadow Days for Comcast. Comcast is giving the opportunity to interested students who would like to learn about their marketing, sports net, finance, and community relations departments. Anyone that wants to join will participate in a Q&A panel and will hear from a keynote speaker. Now remember, spaces are limited, so spots are given on a first-come, first-served basis. Please see Ms. Mintz for more information and to sign up. Applications for the District Attorney's Justice Academy are due November 6th. The Academy is a six-month paid summer internship for high school students, ages 16 and up, who are interested in pursuing the study of law, justice, social justice, and the courts. For more information and to pick up an application, please see Ms. Mintz. There will be an FCA meeting tomorrow at lunch in the small gym. 
Attention, Granada's entering a spirit war with our crosstown rival, Livermore High School. We will be going head to head on each spirit day, and you can see on social media who wore it better. Let's show Livermore how much spirit we have. Interax Coin Wars is going on now through November 6th. Donate money to help the fight against human trafficking. Coins are worth positive points and paper money is worth negative points. The leading third period class will win a pizza party. And now, here's the troublesome trio. Hello guys. Hey Edward. Could you tell me where Halloween came from? What country it originated from? Um, Mexico? Um, Africa. Yup. Definitely a continent. Mexico. Um, Africa. Got it. Iran. I think she's got the answers. Pennsylvania? <laughs> that is a state. Aaron Andrews! Aaron Andrews! Where, uh, what country did Halloween originate in? Switzerland. Where did Halloween come from? Uh, Germany? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Romania. No. Uh, America. Uh, China. Yep. Just guess. Japan. Yep. Afghanistan. <clears throat> it absolutely did. England? Your infinite wisdom, please tell me which country Halloween came from. Halloween came from Ireland. Yes. Woo! Yes! Yes! That's why you're a wizard, because you're a protector of knowledge. Wow, weren't you just blown away? If you would like to have your artwork on the cover of the 2016-17 Granada High School course catalog and student planner, Stop by Student Services to pick up a flyer that has the guidelines for the artwork. There are also samples on Mrs. Moody's desk for your reference. All submissions must be turned in by Wednesday, January 20th. Well, that's all for today. I'm Taylor Corey. And I'm Nick Batters. Go ahead. And have a great day, Granada. And as always, stay classy and have a great Halloween this weekend. Mr. Keith Pickman Walters, in your yes. professional opinion, how do you feel about the eight minute time cap on the Eloviso? Well, it's very short, but we have to live with it, and we just multitask and do multiple things at the same time, like email and walk. Would you say that there's a lot of quality content that can't make it into the Elevisa each week? Definitely. There's Vlogtoria this week, there's also Media Mashup from last week, and what else do we have? Oh, we have a commercial for Cafe Ole. And they can find all of these by clicking right Mr. here, Batters, right there, Cameron. and right here, Is and it your even pick? right there. Is this your wow, what a time we live in. Don't forget to Is like, comment, and subscribe yeah. on the Elevizo. See you next week.